Hey guys, welcome all of you to the second part of sequence in series. We are discussing progressions. Capture this slide as it is going to help you revise some of the basic concepts. What we are going to do is apply these to the last four to five years of questions that have been part of CAT. Mth and nth term of a GP are 3 by 4 and 12. So if you see mth term I can represent as a r m minus 1 that is 3 by 4 and nth term is a r n minus 1 that is given as 12. Now I just divide it r to the power n minus m that becomes 16. Now I have to get the smallest possible value of r plus n minus m. Now see n is greater than m so this is going to be positive for sure. Now if I have to you know get the minimum value here I can what I can do is I can make r negative but I have to remember that r is definitely an integer. So if I take this as minus 2, it is better for me. So minus 2 raised to the power 4. What else can I do? I can make it minus 4 raised to the power 2. Then also it is 16, right? So if you see this case, I can take minus 4 plus 2. The answer is minus 2. So the answer is answer option B. This is from cat 20. Moving forward, these numbers are in AP. We have to rationalize. That's quite obvious. So this becomes root over a1 minus root over a2 root over a2 minus root over a3. Now what happens in the denominator that becomes a1 minus a2 that is minus d. The difference is common difference but it will come in negative right. So if you keep adding this you will finally what is happening here I am getting root a n minus root a n plus 1 and finally here I am getting minus d. So now just add it up these alternate terms are getting cancelled. So this finally becomes root over a n plus 1 minus root a 1 divided by d. Now if I rationalize it once again and why will I do it because I have seen the answer option the root terms are in denominator right. So if I just you know rationalize it once more I will get you know plus terms in the denominator. So I basically reduce you know not using this because it has a negative I am not using this this is n minus 1 I am not using this because this has a n. So therefore the answer is answer option. There are some numbers let's say a1 a2 till a52 arithmetic mean is one less than arithmetic mean of a2 a3. Let's say the sum of a2 to a52 is x right. So what is the original uh, so what's the uh, if a2 to a52 is x earlier I had 52 terms so x upon 51 minus a1 plus x upon 52 that is I can write it as x upon 51 minus x upon 52 and finally minus a1 upon 52 that is equal to 1. So this becomes minus 1 this becomes a1 upon 52. Now if I this becomes x upon 51 into 52. Now if I just multiply this a1 becomes x upon 51 minus 52. Now I have to get the maximum value of a1 for that I need to get the maximum value of x. What is x? x is the sum of these numbers. Now what I can do is I can take all the bigger numbers. So what is the a52 is 100. So the maximum sum that I can create here is knowing that these are positive integers and this is in an increasing order. The best I can do is I can take 52 numbers from 100 in a reducing order. So 100, 99 going on till 50 right. So there are how many numbers there are 51 numbers here. Let's let's now solve it. So 51 upon 2 sum will be 150. So this becomes 75. So what is the sum 51 into 75? If I put it here, so this becomes 75 minus 52 that is 23. That's cat 18 for you. The arithmetic mean of x, y, z is 80, right? So x plus y plus z is equal to 240, right? That's the arithmetic mean x, y, z, u, v is 75. So x plus y plus z plus u plus v is equal to 5 into 75 that becomes 375. Now you take the difference you will get u plus v is equal to 135. u is x plus y by 2 v is y plus z by 2. You just sum it up that becomes x by 2 plus y plus z by 2 is equal to 135. Now this becomes just solve it becomes x plus y plus z plus y by 2. x plus y plus z I know is 240 right. That's here. So this becomes 120 plus y by 2 is equal to 135. So I know y is equal to 30. Now if you just plug it here x plus z is equal to 210. I know x is greater than equal to z. Minimum that x can become is equal to z. So therefore 2x is equal to 210 x is equal to 105 that's cat 18 for you. Moving forward I have an infinite gp 
has the property a n is equal to 3 into the next few numbers for n greater than or equal to 1. The sum is given as 32. Then a5 is what? Have a look at this very very clearly. I can write a1 as 3 into a2 plus a3 so on and so forth. So what can I write here? I can write a2 plus a3 as 32 minus a1. Right. So now if you just solve this 4a1 is equal to 3 into 32. So a1 becomes 3 by 4 into 32. Right. So this becomes 24. Now have a look at the pattern. Okay. Now I've got a1. Similarly, I'll calculate a2. Similarly, I'll cal calculate a3. What is going to happen? The numerator will always have a 3. Hence, if you want to solve it, you can solve it all you want. But the answer to this question is answer option C. That's cat 17. I hope you enjoyed it. Solve as many questions. Thank you so much. God bless you all.